And that's why I have you back on again, because, you know, I hear all these people talking about their stories, about UFOs, disclosure. And, you know, it's, it's, I wanted to, and trying right now to get the word out that I don't think new disclosure has happened. But there's a lot of great evidence out there that it has to be shared to let people know, hey, this is real. This is what's going on. People are seeing it everywhere. Doctors, lawyers, you know, government people, they have all seen UFOs. And, and, and it, it seems to be increasing for some reason, more now than ever. I don't know if you've been keeping up with the news, but the reports of UFOs are coming in more than they ever have. And normally in yep. August, they start dying off. They haven't died off. They're increasing. Yeah, they are. Yep. No, it, there's something going on. I, you know, I, you know, and and like, like I said, I, I, you know, I, I sense it. I sense it through my meditations. There's something going on, and uh, but yeah, um, what that is, I, I don't, I don't know yet. But there's something going on, and I think we're going to start. That'll start manifesting as far as that, and more and more and more. Um, and I, you know, again, I, I uh, uh, it, it's, it's certainly time. I mean, because we've been we've been in the dark for so long. It's it's ridiculous. But you know. And that's in part too. I mean, I, you know, I you know, I'm really, I really pr- appreciate you doing the show, Gary. I, I really do. I think it's it's good. Um, it's not, not the other reason as far as why I came out of my, I guess, so called you know UFO closet as far as the book and trying to get the movie you know together and trying to do that because essentially you know uh, and, and also too to in in in, in part. I mean, it, it's, it's it's we call it the greatest UFO story never told. For a reason, because it really has never really been told, and that's why I wanted to do a feature film versus do some sort of documentary or some other stuff. I want to, do, you know, so the more and more and more people, because I think awareness brings change. It's very young, young in as far as you know. The more awareness, I think it will actually change and, and kind of accelerate even more. And that's been my goal is to get as more and more and more people. And 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 at the same time, I have I have selfish reasons, and, and not only monetary. Yeah, I'd like. To you know, I'd like to become, uh, you know, extremely wealthy, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that. <laughs> but bottom line is my, my yeah. uncle and a lot of those pioneers, a lot of those people, they took a lot of flack early on. And, 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 and a lot of these guys running around now, I don't hear them mentioning these people. And there's a, little, there's a snicker factor. It kind of irritates me. They call that the brotherhood, the, the, the space brothers, they refer to them as, and it's almost in a derogatory term. But I, I keep trying to, I, you know, I, you know, I, I want to say, word, wait a minute, wait a minute. If it wasn't for them, you guys wouldn't be around, you know. And I think that, uh, so I'm kind of, in some respect, and, and it's, it's great material to work with because it's just fast, it's fascinating. I mean, it really is. But it, it really is also to certain, like I said, for selfish reasons, those people should be acknowledged for what they did and what they suffered. And they all suffered. You know, uh, my uncle was put on a, uh, on uh, on a Eisenhower's most dangerous persons list. They 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 labeled him a nut, some sort of crank guy. Uh, he you know, and literally he was a reluctant hero. Of this whole thing. He never, you know, he had he had quite a a great career. He could have he could have really turned this thing in, that he that was going on at Giant Rock into a million dollar enterprise, but he he chose not to because you know because his his heart was pure. You know, as far as that, yeah, flawed guy. You know, made made a lot of mistakes, don't we all? But still, bottom line is that his heart was in the right place, which was actually UFO disclosure and incidentally anti nuclear weapon, and, and and to get people to stop. And I think that he, he was effective as far as bringing information awareness in his own time against extraordinary odds. And so I want you know that at least the you know for I, I want to bring that out, and I, and I have to mention that. You know, as far as that, these people went through hell, and they had the government come after them because you didn't talk about that stuff back. Think back in the day, you didn't talk, talk about this stuff. You, you were you were labeled. So, anyways, that's kind of a that, that's that's also too that's part of the reason. That's why I've always known I'll get it done. I prefer to I prefer to have gotten it done two years ago. But Gary, it's gonna, the movie's going to get made when it's going to get made. Yeah. And when it and when it gets made, it's, it, I think it's going to do well. I think people, I think people respond to it. You know, so, I think people need it. I hope uh, so. You know, hear about it and stuff like. You know, if it wasn't for your uncle, just think about this. You know, I think uh, we wouldn't be as far into being open right now today about UFOs. Uh, you just think about it. How many people went and seen? You know, uh, on the property where these were being you know cited. 
and get, and got together. You said up to like 10,000 people at one point. Think about that. And yeah. you know, that would get you certainly on any list with the government. I tell you that much. Well, absolutely. And he was, well, even think about today. I mean, I, 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 and this is all organic. I mean, I, you know, if you, if you're to type in giant rock, the movie, you'll see anywhere between 250 million to five to 600 million impressions. There's, so there's something going on with that, you know, as far as that there's still, there, there's interest in this thing. And there, there's a huge fan base that basically I, I have nothing to do with it. Just, you know, they're, they're coming to this thing and they're looking for information. And so I, you know, I think with what, you know, with some of the work I've done and, and there's been a lot of, you know, I've, I've done a, done a lot of sh- uh, shows, done a lot of speaking, you know, and of course, you know, writing, I mean, heck, I, I'm, I, I'm a, I'm a, for- I'm a dyslexic writer. So you can, you, you can just imagine how challenging that is. <laughs> uh, join the crowd. I, you have to see some, some of the stuff I post. <laughs> Hey, now, why don't you, because our time is running out, why don't you tell people where they can find your stuff and how they can contact you and all that stuff? Well, you know, I literally, if you want to contact me the best way, I mean, you know, obviously, uh, uh, the best way to do it is by email, chat at giantrockmovie.com. Yeah, you got any questions or or anything, or or if you've got $40 million and want to do a film, and and want to and want to become mega rich, then I certainly would like to accept your your email. So out there, and I know and I know you're out there. I know you're listening to Gary's show. <laughs> but chat at giantrockmovie dot com. That's the best way to get. Or you know, as far as that, or you know, that, that's the best way to get a hold of me. And uh, but yeah, my my books. You know, my books on Amazon. Uh, you know, I, I, it's a regular uh, giant rock. Um, the greatest UFO story never told. It's actually a consistent seller. I'm actually surprised. I'm still selling. I'm still selling books every month. I, I really. I mean. I, I mean. I, I'm not not a ton of books, but I'm still selling them. So it kind of give me a little impetus to, to go a little further with Giant Rock, the Giant Rock Two, and, and kind of extend the story. And I think we will we'll have either a trilogy. If anything, it would be a great. It also would be great live streaming too. It'd be a fantastic uh, Netflix, you know, series and what have you. As far as that continue. And it seems like all these shows get a lot of good ratings. Uh, Project Blue Book, I guess it's number one out there in cable world. So, and, and I, I'm not even a huge fan of it, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy people are, are, are looking, you know, as far as that. So, anyways, yeah, we're just we're just, we're just keeping keeping going, keeping keeping the word out, and just you know keep doing the work, and uh, you know let the results take care of themselves, Gary. That's what I'll, that's why just like you. And hey, I'm sorry you had a fall. Oh, my gosh. Don't do that again. Well, actually, <laughs> it, it started with our goat. Uh, it, it knocked me down, and then I lost my balance the next day, and then it, it just went from there. Four falls in a 24-hour period. Oh, no. The last fall was the bad oh, no, one where, where my knee went at a 45-degree angle and made a tearing pop sound. That's the one, you know. Oh, that no. That was the one that got me. Plus, I had like five major sprains from my body. I don't ever want to go through that again. But people, you need to go onto Amazon, Giant Rock, get yourself a copy of the book. I'm telling you, you're crazy if you don't do it. I mean, anything that has Howard Hughes in the book and all this other great information. Could you imagine somebody living in the Giant Rock, you know, making a, a home in it and, and being able to speak German <laughs> and being into electronics? I could imagine, especially in the late 30s, People, aha, he is a Nazi spy. So naturally, the, the police would come over there. And I think there's a military base on the other side of the rock, too, wasn't there? There, is, there still is. There's a 29, 29 Palms Marine Base. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There. So, oh, yeah. we got a spy, okay? Well, you know what? He, I, I hate to say it. I mean, at least he probably didn't suffer. And that's the type of blowjob I would not want. Could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine? The, 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 no, with that dynamite being inside that rock, it has, when it explodes, it has nowhere to go. So, I mean, ew. I mean, you know. It'd it, be quick. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm sure it was nothing left of not to be, you know, morbid here. But it, it, it really is not to get more. But it, yeah, there, there there have been some there's been some crazy events out there. I tell you, it, it, it really it's it's memorable. It really is. And we it's a quick read also too. 
you know, it, you know, it's 266 pages, and it, I, let me tell you something. It's a real. Quick, it goes quick. People. That, that's one comment. Says, you know, I. You, they can't put it down. Once they start, they can't put it down until they finish it, which is which is great. That means that they're interested. So that means that they're. You know, I mean, uh, that, that that's a that's a great compliment. You know, when you, when you have to find out what's going to happen next. Oh, so yeah. that, that's that's what I'm. That, and that was what I was going for, and it happened. So yeah, I'm I'm I'm, ha- I'm happy. I'm happy with the book. Of course, I. You know, I, well, I, I'm never happy with anything I do, but but I'm happier. Anyways, here. <laughs> well, people, <laughs> again, on so. get, go, get on Amazon, get yourself a copy of Giant Rock. You won't. Otherwise, I guarantee it's going to be a good read. Hey, Chad, I enjoyed having you on. I think was what the fourth time you've been on my show. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, Gary. I, I, I like your show. It's a lot of fun. I like listening to it. So. Well, one thing yeah. it is live. It's not a podcast. We're on 17 radio stations and, you know, working on adding more. So, I mean, you know, you are being heard now more than ever on Night Dreams Talk Radio After Dark. So, hey, Chad, uh, say hi to your wife. I want you to have a great weekend. It's coming up. And, you know, listen, you. To, listen to the show once in a while. It gets interesting. Okay, well, all right, Gary. Thank you so much. Okay, you take care. Night. Chad, it's been a pleasure, Chad. Night. Hey, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. My, my pleasure. So, James, you know, yes, yeah, it's so, you know, a lot of people don't realize when, you know, they talk about all these other places where, you know, go see UFOs. This started in the early 40s. So, you know, yeah, like you were saying, up to 10,000 people would show up to look at these UFOs appearing above their, you know, their heads. It, it is so interesting. Yeah, they, you know, a little place of, what, 300 people became a little city overnight, you know, just to observe UFOs and talk UFOs and stuff. That's And I remember seeing many stories on this, and it it was a pioneer. It started way back, like you said, in the 50s or 40s. Yeah, this was in the 40s. And, you know, it, what's interesting, too, is, you know, like he was talking about, you know, in his uncle's uh, a cafe, gas station and all that stuff, that uh, all these pilots would, you know, land their airplanes out in the desert, you know, and go have coffee and, and blueberry pie or whatever that was what Howard Hughes would eat and talk about their experiences while they're flying and seeing UFOs. Could you imagine if we could go up back in time and go in there and listen to all those great stories. Oh, that would be fascinating. Too bad they, they didn't record some of those conversations. That's some good stuff right there. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine, though, especially back then? Because you know what? If you were a military pilot back in the the, the 30s and, and early 40s and you start saying, well, and, you know, 50s, because, you know, and 60s. Oh, I saw this UFO. It buzzed my plane or buzzed my helicopter. I almost could you imagine the, the rich stories it was there? I mean, gee, you could make a yeah. movie just off of that alone. And then the, the, the explosion at, at Giant Rock, you know, could you imagine this guy being mm. a little bit centric, right? And, and builds a home inside this giant rock and lives in it and hooks up a radio. And goes in town and buys a radio. He speaks German. Everybody knows he speaks German. The first thing, I guess, it's true. They would think, oh, he's a Nazi spy. Right. Just like, you know, um, on December 7th or 8th, they took all the Japanese and put them in a camp because they thought they were spies. So it's the same thing with the German people. Yeah. And the the poor guy didn't want to come out because he probably didn't know what was going on. But, uh, you know, again, oh, you're not going to. They could have waited for him to come out. You know, but no, they they fired tear gas or smoke bomb or whatever it is. The guy had dynamite in there, and that was the end of him. But, I mean, all this stuff about giant rockets, it, it, you know, I can't wait for the movie, you know, to come come out. Now, tomorrow, we got Jason uh, Offit on again, and we're going to talk yeah, about, about monsters all across the country, like different states, like in Nebraska or Alaska, Montana, what type of creatures are noted for that area? And it, it's it's going to be not just the normal creatures. It's going to be the scarier ones. And that's going to be on tomorrow between 7 and 9. And then the first hour, me and James are just going to talk. We're going to talk whatever, you know, uh, earth changes, new sightings of cryptic somewhere, uh, UFO reports. And, you know, I, won't, I promise tomorrow I won't talk about the wall. 
<laughs> you won't talk about Pink Floyd tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'll talk about Pink Floyd. Yes, they make more sense. But you know, yeah. again, again I'm going to say we got like one. 